Well, good evening, folks, and y'all are welcome back to Apron Strings. Thank you for coming and watching, and if you comment, I sure do like that, too. It makes me feel like we're all one big happy family. Today, we're going to make a dessert, and it's decadent, and it's delicious. It is a chocolate toffee cake, and it starts off with just a chocolate cake mix. Your choice. I mean, I just got a... It says chocolate fudge. You could use the German chocolate or whatever kind of chocolate you want to. But I'm going to get this cake mixed up and in the oven. And then when it gets done, that's when the magic starts. So I'm going to bring y'all over to the butcher block and um, get it mixed up. I've got my pan sprayed with Baker's Joy, which has oil and flour in it. And I'm going to uh, get the cake in the June oven and cook it, what, 20 minutes, however long it says. And then we'll finish it up and put all the goodness on it. So, come on over to the butcher block and get your spot and we'll make a cake. Get my pan over here where it'll be handy. Okay, I just used my one box of cake mix and it calls for one half cup of oil and I just used vegetable oil and one and a half cups of water and one egg. I had one old hen and she sat and she sat and she sat out there this morning and I finally went out there. She'd been on that nest a couple of hours. Let me show y'all that big old egg she laid. I guess it, they've been holding out on me. I'm only getting like one to two eggs a day, which I was getting four. Look how big this egg is. That thing is huge. It, in the palm of my hand, look. It's as big as my hand. That old lady had to labor to have that one, I guess, because it took her forever. Anyhow, I thought that was interesting. It's a big old oval. I'm gonna get this mixed up. Let me poke my yolk on my egg using my um, Swedish dough hook that I absolutely love. I've talked to y'all about that before. It's like the beater on a mixer. Everything, it mixes, but your stuff goes through the openings on it. Don't clog up like a whisk. I've been wanting to make this cake, but I had a little bit of leftover from another something sweet I cooked. And the kids aren't here much anymore, and just me and Troy, and stuff just don't get eat like it did. I guess I should have adopted me some extra kids or something. All right, I'm going to put that in the sink to be washed. And go ahead and use my spatula to be sure I've got it scraped up from the bottom real good. Okay, this is ready for me to put it into the pan. That was really a hard lesson, wasn't it? Having to learn how to do it box mix. Now you could make your own chocolate cake and use it, but this is so easy and I like easy sometimes. Some of y'all have asked about Troy. He is, Troy will never be well because he has a thickened heart. Uh, I think I've told y'all before, it's called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And instead of the fibers of his heart growing like line up on line, they grow like a bunch of pickup sticks that's been dropped. So as he ages, we found out about this in 99 when he went to the doctor to see if he had high blood pressure and ended up in the hospital and they found out about he had AFib and ended up with a pacemaker defibrillator and hadn't even been to the doctor since we married in 1970. So it was a surprise. But anyway, we found out about it then, <clears throat> so his heart will never get any less thick. So it's so thick now that it can't, it pumps sideways, kind of, <clears throat> and, and there's nothing they can do for that. That's why they had him on the heart, wanted him on the heart transplant list, because it'll never get any better. But the pressure in the vessels of his lungs, his blood pressure, would kill a new heart and the reason the old heart is working with it is because it grew up with it or grew old with it or grew damaged with it or whatever you want to say. Anyhow, all of that being said, he can't get on the transplant list so it's just um, 
try to let him have quality of life with the condition he has, and he's doing good. He is not taking any more of their, uh, I call it guinea pig medicine, because it hasn't done any good but make him sick. He's just managing his fluid retention. Uh, if the fluid builds up, he suffocates and his ankles swell. So if his breathing gets worse or he starts swelling, he increases his Lasix to remove the fluid. But you know what? He's doing pretty good. So I'm thankful for that. So right now we're just kind of holding our own and taking each day and he's able to like, I told y'all, he can go sit on the mower and mow. That doesn't exert him. But now if he would try to do 25 toe touchers, he couldn't breathe. He'd be all out of breath. But he can live a calm life and do pretty good. So right now, the good Lord's blessing us and he's, he's doing pretty well. Okay, just thought I'd give y'all an update. Now I'm gonna put my um, chocolate cake over there in the June oven. And I don't know, I don't have on my cheating glasses. I've got chocolate on me. You know what? I'm going to have to scrape this back out because this calls for three eggs and I thought it said one egg. So I'm going to put it back in my bowl, redo my pan, and I'll bring you all back when I get it ready to put back in the oven. I guess that saying a picture's worth a thousand words is true because when I was looking on here all of a sudden I saw three eggs. But I can't read little bitty print and so I just was thinking an egg. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway. I've added two more eggs. I fixed to put it in the oven. When it's done, we're going to fix it up real good and rich and yummy. So let me get it in the June oven, and I'll be about back in a few minutes. Well, y'all, I put on my cheaters and read the box, or the recipe, real good, and the box. And it said to cook the cake 30 minutes, and that was spot on perfect. So when you pull it out of the oven, you want to take a wooden spoon or some round, none of my bigger wooden spoons had a ram bottom on them and you want to poke holes all in the cake while it's hot because we're going to pour some goodness in those holes and make this cake delicious I like poke cakes do y'all like poke cakes a good time to make a poke cake is when you've been aggravated at somebody you can just poke them they won't feel it but you can be poking them Kind of like that shirt I wear that says I may look calm, but in my head I done pecked you three times. Most of the time, I'm just friends with everybody and I don't want really to poke anybody, so right now I'm just making a cake. Okay, the next thing you do is you take a can of sweetened condensed milk. And see, while it's hot, oh, let me get the camera over here where y'all can watch. Y'all already know this. But while it's hot, this will kind of go down in those holes better. It'll melt. Just ribbing it on there. Try to get some all over the top of the cake. I need to go down in there and soak in and make it squishy and yummy. I mean, Eagle Brand or sweetened condensed milk. Eagle Brand is the first brand I ever remember seeing of sweetened condensed milk so it's kind of like you call everything a coke or some people do um, everything's evil brand get me a spatula here where I can get all that good stuff out make sure I use it all And then I want it to go down in there. Okay, now the next thing you do is you take a jar of caramel sauce and you pour it over the top. Caramel and toffee are two of my favorite flavors. I would take toffee over chocolate, and that's probably make a bunch of people squeal, but 
I just love the, the toffee flavor. I love pralines. I like that kind of a flavor. You want some of this down in those little holes if you can encourage it to go down in there. Let's see if I about got it all out. I did. But I want toffee on every little piece too, so I'm going to smear it around a little bit. Now what you have to do now is put this in the ice box and let it chill. And then we're going to come back and we have some more topping that we're going to put on it. So let me get it in the ice box and let it chill down for a while. Get plum cool. And then we will add the rest of the richness to it. I'm going to see if this is cool enough to add the next layer on. Now I sprinkled some brickles on uh, before I cooled it. You're really supposed to sprinkle them on the top, but I wanted extra. So let's see. You put a layer of Cool Whip, but I'm going to see if it melts or if this is going to pretty well be okay. It looks like it's going to be okay. And you know, this will have to be stored in the ice box, but that'll be okay. This is 8 ounces of Cool Whip, and it's a package of the brickles, but I had another piece of a package. My husband found them over there on the cabinet and ate him some of them. So I had another piece of a package where I'd made something else, so I added it in. Let's see. Now if you don't like Cool Whip, you can make your own whipped cream and sweeten it as much as you want it sweetened. I'm just using convenience today, a box mix and bought whipped cream. Just sprinkle on your brickle. And I've got a little bug. I hate those little bugs. And he's in my cake. I got him. Can't get rid of all those little fruit mat things. I hate them. I put out little containers with vinegar and that attracts them, but there's always one or two left. Okay, that's enough. There's a few left, but I'll mix them with this other package that has some left. Let me see if I can get a piece cut to show y'all what it looks like. And Troy is sitting here waiting to eat it, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I got it all plated up here on this good china paper plate. <laughs> I'm going to taste of it, then I'm going to give it to Troy, because I don't like stuff that's super sweet, but he does. So let's see what we taste like with our stuff soaked down through it. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All that stuff that soaked into the cake, oh my goodness, it is rich and yummy. And you got those little crunchy toffee bits on it. Better have you some black tea or black coffee or sweet milk or water to go with it because it's rich and yummy. I hope y'all have tried. It's a good, anything with something cold on it like the Cool Whip, that's a good summertime dessert, but it's a good anytime one too. So don't reserve it just for the summer. Got a holiday weekend coming up. It'll be a good time to try this recipe out. I hope this is something brand new for you. I like for you to have something you hadn't tried before and then to comment and let me know that you made it. Makes me feel really good because I'm helping set your table. That is sweet. I'm gonna have to go get me some tea. 
y'all need to um, pick you up a few extra things and stock your pantry. Lord, we don't know what's going to happen in our United States. Things is lots different and they're disappointing and they're strange and they're scary. Just be sure you got you some extra food where if things get kind of wonky around us, we won't have to get out and go to town. We can just stay home and eat our beans and rice or whatever. Y'all need to think about that. Stock your pantry a little bit where you'll feel secure to just stay home and feed your family and sit around the table and think about the good times. The Lord bless and keep y'all. I'll be back here in a day or two with something else good to eat. and I'll probably talk a whole lot more then. I'll save some of it up for then. I'll see y'all real soon.